after having a difficult season with West Ham in the Premier League and a disappointing end to the World Cup, Cedinho made the transfer to Borussia Dortmund. The media is already doubting whether he can compete in the Bundesliga, but guess what he just did? First game, first touch, bicycle kick. The greatest debut in Borussia Dortmund's history. And honestly, Cedinho's loving life in Dortmund, the goals are just flying in. But there's still one problem. You see, he still isn't a starter, and the coach, Nuri Sahin, is literally playing Cedinho everywhere but the striker position. So far, he's played as a cam, as a winger, but not even once as a striker. It makes no sense. But in spite of that, Cedinho still has six goals in seven games, and it feels like he's finally convinced the gaffer to start him. He'll finally get to be Dortmund's number nine, but he cannot waste this opportunity. That's right, boys. The team sheet is out, and looks like Marlon is fuming, but that should mean Cedinho's a starter. And yes, boys, he is the new number nine of Dortmund. Dortmund is finally gonna start. Oh man, I've waited for this. I, I don't want to be playing in that camp position. We're a striker. We deserve to play there. And look at the service I'm gonna be getting. There's Sane, Adiemi on either side, Brandt as well. My first start in the Bundesliga for Dortmund, guys. I'm absolutely ready for this. Wouldn't mind a chance here from a set. B. Cedinho's head is saved. I could still do something if I get the ball. And I do. Striking it nicely and again, what a save. Nah, man, I want to get on the score sheet, especially considering it's my first start. I don't want to be on the bench ever again. Oh, I've got the ball here nicely. And I'm going to cut this one back for Leroy Sane. Team player, boys. That's what Cedinho is. But yeah, I still want to get on the score sheet myself. But nah, guys, the difference is crazy. Playing for Dortmund versus playing for West Ham. This is a team that loves keeping the ball, constantly attacking. At West Ham, it was just park the bus and get the ball to Cedinho. Like, that is not a tactic. Leroy Sané is actually insane, boys. What a pass that is for Cedinho on the volley first time. I should have done better. Oh, I'm making a really nice run. I think I am onside Cedinho now, 1v1. Surely this is his chance to get his first goal as a starter. And he does not disappoint. Dortmund's number nine coming through. Okay, looks like Cedinho once more. He's going to link up really nicely with Kareem Adiemi. Oh, it should have been an assist for him. Oh, Cedinho setting up Daniel Marlon really nicely. He's come on as a sub. What a finish from him. One thing I'll say, playing as a cam during his West Ham time, it's definitely made Cedinho a better player because look at the assist he's getting. And that's it, boys. First full start for Cedinho. 10 on 10 match rating, a couple of assists and a goal. Man of the match award too. And I think with that, he's locked in that starting spot for Dortmund. Okay, once again, we've got an opportunity to meet my former teammates. Do you know what? If this was my Como teammates, I would actually meet them. Wait a minute. Who are you? We can meet our former teammates from Como? Absolutely not. The past is in the past. But I don't want to meet my teammates at West Ham, especially Mohamed Kudus. His Ghana team knocked us out of the World Cup, man. Cedinho does not like Kudus anymore, so no. We're not meeting my former teammates. Oh, by the way, leveled up with some training. Three more skill points to use. By the end of the season, I kind of want to get Cedinho to a 90 overall. I know it sounds crazy, but it might be possible. Okay, three skill points. I think I'll use two for my attack positioning, because that's 69 for some reason. Oh, I can get myself to 90 dribbling as well. Let's do that too. And just like that, I'm up to an 87 overall. Oh, wait a minute. Next up for Cedinho is Champions League action. That's the big plus of playing for Dortmund now. We're going to be competing at the highest level and this time against Barcelona. If Lamine Yamal is playing, maybe Cedinho should exchange shirts with him just so that Lamine gets the opportunity to have a Cedinho shirt. But I don't think Lamine is on the pitch, which is a bit disappointing. No, wait, it's Mohamed Kudus. Are you kidding me? That is Mohamed Kudus. No way, guys. It is the man who knocked Cedinho out of the World Cup and they're already dustling on the bench. That is even more of a reason to now get a win against Barca. We're not letting Kudus dunk on us once again. Ah, this is the annoying thing about playing Barcelona. We're not getting any of the ball. Feels like I'm back at West Ham. Danny Olmo goes for goal and it's a big save from Gregor Kobel. Hakimi looking for the cross and my header, it's gone wide and I was onside too. Guys, chances are going to be really few against Barcelona. I need to be making the most of them. 
Okay, did I just give the ball away to Kudus? I I'm such an idiot. Okay, but I've got a chance here to use my pace and breakthrough, but it's Ronald nope. Araujo coming at me. I've managed to get away from him, but not really. This is like one of the first times Sedinho's coming up against quality opposition, and he's not doing well. It's a 5.3 match rating. Oh, and okay, finally, I've got a chance to do something for my team. It's a tough angle, and how is that getting saved? But oh, Conde put it in. Oh, what happened there? I'm so confused. So I went for goal here, and it got saved, but then Kunde they couldn't control it and a tackle from Brand sent that one over. Oh, the goal's been given to Julian Brand, but I don't think Cedinho's getting the assist for that. And so my match rating is still only 6.1. I deserve more because I literally created that goal. Oh, this could be a chance for me to get myself a goal. Cedinho first touch, but it's blocked. Honestly, I think Kudus might have a higher match rating than me, man. It's it's not working out well for Cedinho, but the good news is we still get the win. But yep, guys, a stinker from Cedinho. What even is that heat map? He was ever Everywhere but that striker position. Actually, Kudus wasn't all that better. 6.1 match rating, just 0.1 better than me. But hey, this time we got the win, so we'll take the dub. By the way, do you guys remember recently Sidinho opened his own fast food brand? Sid's Enos, serving the false nine cola, the Trivela chicken, big game fries. Everything was going well as the opening day was a big success. There were a lot of people, crazy crowds. Sidinho himself was serving the burgers. He might have eaten a few himself. But look at this, another Sidinho disaster class. Reports confirm every person to try Sid's Enos has suffered from food poisoning. The brand and its owners face hefty lawsuits against them. Hashtag boycott Sidinho trends on social media. I have to spend countless hours in bathroom due to this. Give me my money. Looks like customers aren't happy. Oh no, it looks like Sidinho's dream is over. Sidinho's are bankrupt. Oh no, I ordered a Trivella chicken with false nine cola like 15 minutes ago. That means I'm not gonna get my order. Unfortunately not. Sidinho's is, is gone. Okay, let's hope Sidinho can put the sadness of losing his food brand by scoring some goals against Leverkusen. Alright guys, after that stinker against Barcelona, I do want Sidinho to have a good game as he sets up Kareem Adiemi, and come on, how is he not scoring? Oh, what a pass that is for Cedinho now, 1v1. He's got to convert this, of course he does. We had an off day against Barcelona, but now we're back with goals. By the way, Cedinho's doing some defensive work. It's not clearly working, though, as Dortmund almost concede. I gotta say, games in the Bundesliga are a lot more tight, especially against teams like Bayer Leverkusen, because... To be honest, Chabi Alonso's coaching them. They're one of the best teams in the world right now. But Cedinho has now gone completely through. He's going to try and set his teammate up. Ashraf Hakimi, I think, goes for goal and scores. I'm going to get an assist for that. And with that win, guys, Dortmund are top of the league. Seven games, seven wins. Bro, Cedinho could actually win his first ever trophy here in the Bundesliga. And it could be the league title. Bayern Munich, I know, are just a couple of points behind. They're probably the favorites. But nah, things are looking good. By the way, guys, Cedinho... Cedinho's just got a message from New Balance. Now, if you guys remember, last season he signed a contract with them. And for the renewal, they expected Cedinho to get 30 goal contributions, which he did. Now he's playing for Dortmund and scoring a ton of goals. He's got an interesting new sponsor coming for him. You see, Dortmund's kits are manufactured by Puma. And looks like they want to deal with Cedinho too. And okay, guys, I like these Puma boots quite a bit. They do suit Cedinho and they go with our kit. We could also go with this yellow one, but I kind of prefer the red. Now, the terms of this contract say that they want Cedinho to score 30 goals this season, but also win a trophy, which is going to be hard because Cedinho has never won a trophy in his life. But hey, he's now playing for Dortmund. We've got the German Cup, the Bundesliga. There's a chance. And I think it's time for a new sponsor. So we're signing this contract with Puma. Oh, and by the way, Cedinho has unlocked a new playstyle. Bro, just one more playstyle and we'll get to have a playstyle plus. For now, though, what do we pick? What can help Cedinho more? I guess Acro. To be fair, does he even need this because he recently scored a bicycle kick? But we'll give that to him for now. But up next for Cedinho is a trip back to London to face Arsenal. And the English media has been going off on Cedinho this week. They've been criticizing Cedinho for not being able to make it at West Ham, escaping to an easier league like the Bundesliga. Nah, man, this is an opportunity to show the world that Cedinho is him. But he didn't have a good game against Barcelona, so Arsenal aren't going to be tough. 
He hasn't performed in a big game, but maybe this is that chance. Come on, we need a big performance from Sedino. I'm going to try and take a shot from distance, but it's not always going to work. Oh, and I've made a nice run. Go on, Sedino. A big goal against a team like Arsenal would be huge, but the defense just blocks him off there. Bro, this is going just like the Barcelona game. sedinho has got a 5.8 match rating. Oh, that's a brilliant pass for Sedino. I think he's kept himself on. Oh, on the half volley. He has just shushed London here with a goal like that. The English media you can talk nonsense, but Cedinho delivers on the pitch. Oh man, nothing like getting a win in these big Champions League nights. But hey, the game's not done yet. Let's get the win against Arsenal. Guys, we've literally just been hanging on since I scored the goal. Just a couple of minutes left. We need the win here. And that's it for the game. We've done our job. A big win against Arsenal. The English media can shush. And the way, guys, we're almost in November, and I'm pretty sure on the second is when the Ballon d'Or ceremony is. Now hear me out, you might think, yo, Sidinho doesn't even deserve to be nominated. Bro had a ridiculously good World Cup, scoring five goals. More than the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. And at West Ham, he had more than 30 goal contributions. I think Sidinho deserves a nomination. Okay, we've got a Bundesliga game before we find out who wins the Ballon d'Or. Do you know what? If we can make a case here by scoring, say, a couple of goals, a hat trick, you never know, Sidinho might sneak himself into the top 30 at least. Looking for a good pass out wide for Julian Branham, attacking down this left side. Adiemi has got to play this one for me. Easy Dinner. goal for Sidinho. How did I bottle this? Another chance, but no. Come on, we can't give France football to exclude us from the ceremony. And here goes Sidinho with pace, and this time he's got the finish. And did he just knee slide right after scoring? That's cold. Oh, and the defense has completely just opened up for Sidinho, but he's been caught up. Okay, no, he's gone through. Is he going to square it for his teammate? Absolutely not. The Ballon d'Or ceremony is tomorrow. Sidinho's got to make a name for himself. You know what? Let's try a shot from distance and oh, 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 the crossbar. That would have got him front row seats to the Ballon d'Or ceremony, man. Oh, and we're cooking right now. We're cooking, Sidinho. Oh, he got taken out from behind. That's got to be a foul. It is. Please tell me Sidinho is going to be taking this free kick. Oh, yes, he is. A free kick goal would be beautiful. Come on, Sidinho. Get the power right. It looks decent enough. It looks decent enough, but right above. Marlin setting it up for Sidinho, and there's the hat trick goal. Oh, in fact, I actually ended up scoring another goal in this game. Four goals in a single game. And looks like, yup, Sidinho's just got an email from France football. He's been invited to the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Okay, there's no chance he's gonna win it, right? Like, absolutely not. Okay, there's no Ballon d'Or cutscene, which means it's this man, Erling Haaland, who wins it. It's always freaking him. But also, the rankings are out, and Sidinho finished number 30. Do you know what? That is not bad. Being 25 years old, 87 rated getting my first Ballon d'Or nomination. It's a good start. But one day, Cedinho is going to win the Ballon d'Or.